how many times will I record this intro until I get it right? Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that don't know, my name is Brenda, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about why it sucks to be a Victoria's Secret employee. Specifically pink, because I worked at a pink freestanding store, so this is how things went there. It could be different at like Victoria's Secrets or Pink's connected to Victoria's Secrets. So this is just my experience with my specific store. <sighs> Let's just get into it because there is not much I can say before this video. <laughs> so a little backstory before we get into it. Um, I worked at Pink starting August 2015. I quit April 2016 and then I started working there again December 2016 and then ultimately quit again for the last time February 2017. If you guys want to hear about how I quit both times just let me know. <laughs> Hmm. Probably the number one thing that sucked about working there is call-ins. Now, call-ins were basically just extensions on your shift. Usually they would be about two to three hours depending on management. <laughs> so let's say you had a shift from two to six. That's four hours. So from two to six, you would have a call-in from six to eight. That's just two hours. So management will let you know 30 minutes prior to your shift ending if they were going to use your call-in or not that day and if they were instead of until six you would stay until eight but if they weren't going to use it you'd still get off at six go home whatever i hated that truthfully because sometimes i needed to know if i was going to be getting off at six or if i was going to be getting off at eight and I didn't and I wouldn't know until 30 minutes prior to my shift like that was always so annoying but I was so thankful that I worked there when that was it because apparently they used to have like call-in shifts to where you would have a entire shift that was a call-in and they would let you know if they were going to use it or not like the day before or something like that don't quote me on that that was just what I was told and I was like <laughs> No, thank you. Collins sucked. I hated them. Sometimes management wouldn't even tell you until it was like time for you to go, and then it'd be like, oh yeah, no, you need to stay. Like, mm, you can suck my ass. Another thing that sucked about pink was that you had to wear pink to work. Like in the handbook, like the employee handbook, all it said was like you have to wear either pink or uh, like stuff with no brands on it so like just plain t-shirts like something you couldn't say nike on it or like something like that but my manager would always let me clarify it and just say that she never specifically like our store manager would never specifically be like you need to wear current clothes or you're gonna be fired like it was never anything like that but she would basically like guilt you into making you wear current clothes like she would always say well, how is a customer supposed to know where it is if it's old? <laughs> like, it says pink on it. Like, I am sure we have something similar. Let me just wear my old stuff in peace. She always said, by this date, I want you to only be wearing current clothes. Or like, if you didn't have something current on, she'd be like, oh, that's kind of old. Why aren't you wearing something current? Like. <sighs> let me relax a lot of people would always say like oh you just work here for the free clothes like you're so lucky because you get free clothes no we did not get free clothes we got a free outfit which was a top bottom bra panty i think that's it we would get like an outfit every i don't remember if it was like every 60 days or every time e not every new floor set but like every once in a while we got a new floor set i don't know exactly how long like the period was truthfully i always just get a free outfit when everyone else was <laughs> another thing that sucks about working at victoria's secret was my specific store manager liked everything to look perfect all the time i remember one time i had a shift it was like a six eight hour shift and all i was doing my entire shift was folding clothes that like throughout the store that customers would mess up and not clean up my entire shift so another thing that sucked about working at pink was the customers and i understand that no matter where you go where you work what you do there will always be crappy customers like 
there's no helping it. There will always be crappy customers, and I understand that. But at Ping, they were just like 30 times worse, I swear. Obviously, Ping is really popping, and a lot of people like to go there. But these people don't have manners. Like, customers would see you folding a stack of clothes, fixing it, you know, because our manager liked it to be all perfect 24-7. <laughs> And then customers would just kind of throw all the clothes around trying to find their size while an employee is just standing there right next to them like, tell me what size you need and I will gladly grab it for you not messing up my stack instead of you just going around throwing it like, ah, that's so rude. And the same thing with the panties, like the panty bar, I don't even want to get started on the panty bar y'all. I don't know why. We had to fold each individual panty and size it and put it in a drawer every single day because the panty drawers, when you would open that shit, ew, they would not last for more than like 10 minutes like that because our customers just pull things out. They don't give a fuck where it lands. And every night at the end of the night, all of the employees have to go to the panty bar and fold each individual panty and put it in its drawer before we can even leave like just think about that the next time you go to a pink and are just throwing thongs left and right we are the ones that have to stay there until two in the morning refolding those putting them away because of y'all the only good things about working at pink is that you get a discount on the overpriced expensive ass clothes like I'm gonna talk shit about them. I'm gonna still wear their stuff and use their shit. Mm. Another thing that sucked about working at Pink, especially being a cashier, was constantly having to shove the angel card down people's throats. Management was always really persistent, especially with the cashiers, on the amount of angel cards that they would expect from you per shift. And because they would always set up a goal, like they would always want to get like 10 angel cards today or like. 15 today you know so every segment they would expect you to get a certain amount of angel cards especially if you were a cashier and i just always hated asking people like that's just uh, i don't know i just always hated asking people because if they don't want one like i'm not about to shove it down your throat because i know that the interest rate is high af and it's not even that great of a card truthfully like it's not. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I know it wasn't a lot, but if you wanna hear more reasons on why it sucks being a pink employee, go ahead and just give me a thumbs up or comment down below, just letting me know, and I will definitely do that for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you aren't already, please go ahead and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Um, yeah, so until my next video, bye y'all.